Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, let's be real. Today's video is gonna be a comparison um, and kind of an unboxing of the Amazon closet, sorry, Amazon wardrobe. As a preface, I did subscribe to Stitch Fix for a little while. Now I've been home a lot more and in more loungewear and I don't have a lot of that. <laughs> I focused a lot of my closet on pieces that I can use both at work and outside of work. So a lot of dresses and things that I could like dress up or dress down. With the past two months being in quarantine and not going out into public, I've done a lot of online shopping, just like I'm sure plenty of other people have. Um, and Amazon has been one of the probably most frequented sites. And the other day I was browsing Amazon and I saw that they had an, a prime wardrobe option. I had seen it before, but I hadn't really been too interested in it. So prime wardrobe versus Stitch Fix. There are a lot of differences between the two. With Stitch Fix, you pay a styling fee. So the $20 that you pay styling fee either goes towards something that you buy within that box that you get, or it's just a $20 fee and you don't get that back. What I liked about Prime Wardrobe is that you don't pay anything extra on top of what you would normally pay for the items. The prices weren't inflated, like they were the same price whether you did the wardrobe or you just knew what you wanted and you ordered it. So there was no styling fee. However, Stitch Fix charged a $20 styling fee because they had people picking out the items for you. So you didn't really go in there and make any decisions. You just took the style quiz and they would style you and give you a box of however many items and you chose what you like based on that. If you had, say, a special event coming up, you could tell the stylist, whatever it might be, you can tell them that and then they'll take that into account. So maybe they'll pick out a fancier dress for you. If you're looking for more casual wear, they take that into account and they'll adjust accordingly. Amazon does not charge a fee because you have to go in there and do the work yourself. So you have to, to vet the items yourself. You have to check to make sure that they're the right size versus on Stitch Fix, you tell them what size you are and they go based on your size and what they know about the brand. On Amazon, you get to choose eight items. So I chose a variety of items ranging from sweaters to I got a robe, I got shoes. <laughs> I got to choose eight things before they shipped it. You can choose, I think, between five and eight. So you don't always have to choose eight. Eight is the max items that you can get from Prime wardrobe at a time. One of the reasons why I didn't end up liking Stitch Fix as much as I wanted to is because they, I feel like they wanted the items back too quickly. So you get three days to try it on after a Stitch Fix delivery. But when I was looking through the FAQ, you also have the option to extend it a few more days. And that is a direct quote from the website. I don't know what a few days means in Stitch Fix land, but Amazon, I really like that they give you a full week to try things on and see how they mesh with your closet. But it was still nice to know that, you know, I had seven days to choose. Well, seven days, yeah. One of the differentiators with Stitch Fix is they pride themselves on quality items. It really depends on what you shop for on Amazon. There was a lot of things in this Amazon prime wardrobe pick that I did that the brands were more basic. Amazon I think is a great alternative for somebody who normally like buys things and then returns it if they don't fit. I think that's what they designed this program for. It's more for those types of people. I think it's harder definitely to pick things online versus picking things in store where you can feel it versus relying on images. So now that you know the differences between the two, the first thing that I got is a men's lightweight French Terry full zip hooded sweatshirt in yellow. I'm gonna be returning this one because I don't feel like it fits me properly. I understand that it's a men's fit and that's what I was going for, but I was hoping that it would be a little more unisex and um, looser fitting because medium is typically what I am in unisex clothing right now. 
Um, and also I don't think it's worth $24. Uh, same goes for the next one, which is a lightweight French terry hooded sweatshirt uh, in teal. This was a medium as well. This was $25, honestly. I think even if it fit right, the material was kind of thin and uh, I could see it pilling pretty quickly. Like the fabric, you know how it gets those little like balls on it. I could see it doing that pretty quickly. So that's going to go back because it's mm, meh, it's whatever. Amazon Essentials men's lightweight jersey full zip hoodie in black. This one actually fit really nice and I do like that it's lightweight because I live in Florida so it's really not for outside. It's for like in my house when the air conditioning is too cold. So this is a good just basic black hoodie that you can wear around the house. You can wear in the office if it's too cold when we go back to the offices. This one is $22.60 and I feel like that was more on par with the price point that I was looking to pay. Um, I don't know what the extra dollar twenty between that and the yellow one <laughs> makes me feel like it's a better value, but it just, it fit better. This is an Amazon brand. It's Daily Ritual Women's Super Soft Terry Long Sleeve Hooded Pullover White Black Skinny Stripe Large. Ooh, I didn't realize how expensive this was until just now. So I'll probably be returning it, but I think if you live in a state that gets cooler more often, this would be a good buy because it was very comfortable and soft. Definitely super soft. Absolutely. And it's like a good thing that you could just throw over a tank top or you could wear it to yoga or I don't know. It it was comfortable, but it's not $28 comfortable for something that's going to be just loungewear really. Probably won't wear it out of the house considering how hot it is on a normal basis here. So $28 is a little steep for me, but I did really like it. This one, I was like, super surprised with how much I liked the Amazon Essentials Women Lightweight Waffle Mid-Length Robe. It is probably a little more than I would spend on a robe, but I think a good like cotton robe just for lounging around the house is a good investment. One thing that I really don't like about a lot of robes is that they're like really cropped, but this I think with the mid-length length is so much more comfortable and just like cozy and the comfort level is 100. I got some Champion brand jersey pocket pants. Those are going back. <laughs> They're probably for people that are less hippie. I have thick thighs. <laughs> the pants that I'm wearing now actually, they didn't come in the wardrobe styling, but I love them and I will link them because they are so comfortable and just like flouncy and very forgiving um, if you are a hippie person as well. I think the last thing that I tried on was the Amazon Essentials tank swing dress in French stripe black. I honestly don't know at this time if I'm going to keep it or not. Overall, this dress is amazing, however, the length I can see shrinking just a teeny bit in the wash. So at this point, the length is perfect, but I don't trust it to not shrink in the wash. I don't trust this material. I hope this video was informative. If you are a current Stitch Fix subscriber, I think this is the perfect way to have some mix-ins without that styling fee commitment. I think it's a really great idea and it's perfect for the current climate of working from home for most. I hope you guys have a great day and thanks for watching.